Let's play with electricity part two. In this video series, we will draw diagram series and parallel circuits. Let's play with electricity part two. Let's build some cyber circuits worksheet. Like anything you turn in, please put your name and class code on the top first. Remember, your class code is the hour, the grade, and 2018 school year. So let's read the directions. Click this link. When the circuit simulator opens, click the intro box. Take five minutes to explore. Try different things until you can make the switch turn a light on and off. You can move the wires by clicking and dragging the ends into place. Any wire can attach to any point. You may need to flip the switch. Good note. You can adjust the voltage on the battery and the resistance on the light bulb by clicking them. If the battery shows flames, it's overheating. Once you've made a working light and switch circuit, take a screen capture and paste it to the bottom of this page. On your Chromebooks, you can take a screenshot by clicking the control button and the page flipper key. Then a box will open in the lower right side of your screen. Click on the copy to clipboard link. Then you can paste or control V to paste your screen capture wherever the cursor is. Let's try that now. Click the link. And let's see if we can make a circuit. Click on the intro. We need to use a battery as a power source. Wires for conductors. See how they link nice and neat? Or if we don't like it, we can break it. Link that up and I can move this around. And we'll use a light bulb. I can change the direction there a little bit. And there's a switch. I like to have wires in between things. It just makes it easier to move stuff around. And let's open that up and put one more wire. All right. Play with the angle a little bit. And we have a working circuit. So, on your Chromebook, you can do control page flip, or, a student showed me this today, congratulations, three buttons down here, and that will let you take a screenshot. Now, go back over to your worksheet, and at the bottom of the page, control V. Now I hit control V, but my picture is way down here because it was too big to fit on that page. You can leave it like that, or if you click the picture, you can use these boxes to adjust the size. And when you adjust the size, you should be able to move it around to different places also. But I'm fine with it being in nice and big, makes it easier to see. So let's go down to the instructions and see what we need to do next. So let's build some circuits. We're going to use the same digital equipment we used in the lab. Set the batteries to 6 volts and the bulbs to 4.5 ohms each time. That way we're using the same equipment digitally that we used in the real world. Reset the simulation with the reset arrow in the bottom right of the screen. Build a series circuit with a battery, three bulbs, and a switch. It should make a single pathway, like the circuit on page 178. Try placing the switch at different points. That could be interesting. Screen capture your circuit and paste it in the box below. So let's see what we can do. We need to reset. We need a battery 
and we're going to set it. We're going to click again, set it to six volts. And we need one, two, three light bulbs. And they should be set at 4.5 ohms each. And we need a switch. Well, it looks to me like we've already got our system set up. So let's just put some wires in between things. One thing to make sure is that you don't get wires crossed over. If you get them in the wrong position, it's easy to make a mistake. Watch what I'm going to do. There there but only two of my lights work well that's because i connected right here and i bypassed the entire light bulb so we need to break that i'll put that part back and then i'll attach to here now let's see if i can move the whole thing here now i have three light bulbs, all at 4.5 ohms each, in a nice, simple series circuit. Turn the switch off, they all break. Turn the switch on, they all work. So let's try something different. Let's put the switch in a different position. I'll remove the switch, connect these wires. Whoop, now I don't have a switch. So let's get rid of that wire, put a switch here, do we get the same reaction? Yeah, I think we do. Let's try another one. How about we put the switch here? Same reaction? It sure is. In a series circuit, no matter where you break the circuit, you get the same reaction. So let's take a screenshot and place it over in our assignment. So I screen captured my series circuit, and now I need to put it in this box. On your Chromebook, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. If when you hit control page flip, you also clicked on the bottom right, a button that says place on my clipboard. You can go to insert image and upload. When you click choose an image to upload, it will go to your onboard drive. Or if it's in your clipboard, you can also hit control V. And that will put the picture into the box. So we finished part one. Let's do the second piece. Reset the simulation with the reset arrow in the bottom right of the screen. Build a parallel circuit with a battery, three bulbs, and a switch. It should have multiple pathways like the circuit on page 179. Make sure the switch is connected to one of the battery terminals. Screen capture your circuit and paste it in the box below. So, let's reset and go from there. So, let's build a parallel circuit. We need one battery, and we need to set that battery to 6 volts. We need three light bulbs. And we're going to set them to 4.5 ohms. And we need a switch. Instructions said the switch should be connected to the battery. 
So in a parallel circuit, you've got multiple pathways. So we'll start by making one pathway like this, and that should work just fine. Now the next pathway should go from this bulb to the next bulb. So from here and from here, and we'll go like that. That way we have a nice little angle. And does our switch still work for both of them? Sure does. And we can even do one more. From there to there. And from there to there. Now all three of them work. And we can slide them around in different positions, wherever we need the bulbs to be. So I'm going to take a screen capture of this and put it on the sheet also. Now that I've completed a parallel circuit, I need to take a screen capture. Three dots, screenshot, and I'll go over to the worksheet. Control V. And there it is in the assignment. Now that I've got both of them done, Let's do some comparisons. We set the battery to 6 volts. We set all of the light bulbs to 4.5 ohms. Look at the brightness rays on these and compare them to the brightness rays on these. What do you notice? At the bottom of your worksheet, I want you to add a new box. Insert, table, one by two. Type in this question and answer it. What do you notice about the brightness of the bulbs it, whoops, I spelled brightness wrong. What do you notice about the brightness of the bulbs in a series circuit versus a parallel circuit? And fix your spelling like I do. In this box, I'd like you to answer that question. Submit your work when you're done. For the rest of the hour, you can play with the circuits, but I want you working on something in my class. Treat the sub well and have a safe day. I'll see you on Monday.